Winnipeg's mayor and emergency operations manager want to see essential city workers prioritize for the COVID-19 vaccine as eligibility expands. The province has a difficult job. There's a lot of essential workers that, 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 that they need to think about, uh, but we are advocating right now for our essential workers as well. Shaw says out of the city's workers, he'd like the province to first immunize paramedics, firefighters and police officers. They are all uh, right now uh, at risk and, and as you've seen with the health orders being extended for another two weeks because the epidemiology is still saying that the risk is high, it's important for our frontline first responders to have access to the vaccine. Nine employees are currently fighting the virus and 41 are in self-isolation. 151 total city employees have had COVID-19. Bowman says he has requested clarity from the province about the rollout, but has only gotten details from media reports, which includes this overview from the province. He says the last time he actually met with the Premier, virtually or otherwise, was in the early days of the pandemic. I think the last time was in, in April. I have certainly uh, have and continue to make efforts to have a uh, direct dialogue with him. He says he has spoken to the new Minister of Municipal Relations, Derek Johnson. Johnson's press secretary says Johnson made that call within hours of his swearing-in ceremony Tuesday. He says provincial government officials meet regularly with their counterparts at the city. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.